Is Resident Evil 6 a bad game? Resident Evil 6 was released in 2013 to a mass of confused opinions, many of it negative, but I decided to replay Resident Evil 6 in its entirety. Well, except for the Chris campaign, because that's all just man ass. What's my opinion of it? It might shock you. I remember playing Resident Evil 6 for the first time when I was only 6 years old. Many things popped into my head. As the famous John Boyega once said, Hey yo, where's my dick? Now, the way the normal human brain thinks, Manny would think that this is a throwaway sentence, but really, it's genius. John Boyega, in one sentence, quoted all my thoughts for Resident Evil 6. Such as, why is there a zombie outbreak again in the 6th installment of the Resident Evil franchise? Why was playing Sherry in her schoolgirl costume so morally wrong in my 4 year old mind? Why isn't anyone angry about Leon killing the president? Like, America will be in shambles at the end of the outbreak. All these questions bundled into my 1 year old mind. How was I supposed to think with all this booty ass in my face? Now, to fully understand these questions, we have to look back at Resident Evil 6's source material and inspiration. Many might not know this, but Resident Evil 6 was inspired by Blade Runner 2049. At first, the similarities seem very limited, but as you peel away the layers of the storyline, you come to realise that they are actually very similar. The perfect example of this is the sexual tension between Helena and Leon throughout his storyline. Again, not that obvious until you pull back the layers, and you come to realise that this tension between the main characters of Resident Evil 6 has a lot of correlation with the two main characters of Blade Runner 2049, Kay and Joy. Throughout the course of this 2 hour 43 minute and 26 seconds movie, the romance between these two characters becomes questioned when Joy gets drive elevator scene by love. Kay is destroyed by this and then finds out that he is not the child of Rachel, but just an ordinary replicant. Yet again, he gets crushed when he finds out that Joy was just a product all along, and that the special name she gave him You look like a good job was all part of her programming. Now, I know what you're wondering. How in the fuck are these two comparisons similar? Well, in Resident Evil 6 we are introduced to Helena, a character who has not been in any other Resident Evil installments, yet we feel like she's been there throughout the entire storyline of these video games. And we also catch up with Leon, who is arguably the most important character in the Resident Evil franchise to date. Helena clearly wants Leon to titty fuck her, but Leon has his eyes on another lady, Ada Wong, who we first met in Resident Evil 2 alongside Leon. I remember being a young fetus and just instantly connecting with these characters. I could tell that Leon really wants to ass fuck her, but she was always playing hard to get. There's the similarity. Kay never loved Joy. <laughs> he had his eyes set for Deckard who joins the movie 1 hour 45 minutes and 30 seconds into it. I instantly got the sense of nostalgia looking at these two face to face, thinking of the first time I saw Leon and Ada Wong face to face. And if you haven't noticed already, Joy is Helena. Looking for someone to love, only telling them what they want to hear, although for completely different reasons. Joy for her programming and Helena for the dick. Anyway, back to the original question of this video. Why is playing a Sherry in her schoolgirl costume so guilty for me? And the only real answer I can give to that is... I don't fucking know, I was tree.